Okay, so we've talked about adding appendices um, into your project reports. So um, I'm going to show you the best way to do it. So here's um, a blank project report for section one. And I've decided to add some appendices, um, perhaps showing um, some screenshots of the current system. Um, and I want to create another heading style to make this appendix work a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is um, come up here to the Home tab and I'm going to create a style. And I'm going to call the style Append that. And then I'm going to click on OK. And then you can see the new style up here, Appendix. So I'm going to right click and modify and I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm just going to change the font so it matches my other headings and then I'm going to say here style for following paragraph is normal so that means once you've gone uh, pressed enter underneath that heading it will go back into normal font and I'm going to click here for numbering and I'm going to define a new number format, which I've already done here. So what you need to do is you need to type appendix and then select the number style you want. I quite like using letters for appendices, but you can use numbers or whatever you want. So you select that and click OK, click OK, and click OK. And now I'm going to put another appendix in. So then obviously you'd want to put it on a separate page. So page break, control enter, separate page there, separate page here. And this my next appendix is going to be um, the questionnaire. And I apply that heading style and it should be appendix B, questionnaire. Okay. Um, so then you can do the same and it should go appendix C, appendix D, etc, etc. So that's a neater way of getting your headings to actually be, uh, to work more automatically. Um, then what we need to do is make sure that the table of contents shows the appendices as well. If I update the table of contents now, the appendices won't automatically appear. So this is what we have to do to get them to appear here. So go to your table of contents, select the little drop down and then remove table of contents. Then back into Table of Contents again, References tab, Table of Contents, Custom Table of Contents, and we're going to go to Options, and we're going to say that we want the appendix to show in our Table of Contents. We want it to be at Level 1. Click OK. Click OK. And now uh, you've got all your normal headings and the appendices working.